Alrighty. What day is the day? Fuel day. Fuel day? Yeah, fuel day. Fuel day today. Today we're going to try and sort out the fuel system. It's been a little bit of a journey just trying to make sure we got all the right fittings and actually how we're going to do this because we haven't had any experience of setting up a custom fuel line before, or custom fuel system in its entirety before. We obviously have the Raceworks billet fuel rail, which we've just mocked up for the minute, which looks amazing. And Nathan, he's mocked up a little bracket here to mount the Raceworks fuel rig, which looks freaking awesome. But we should probably explain where we got all these parts from, I reckon, oh, first, because we, we haven't gone through that. So, a little while ago, I think about a week ago now, we received probably one of the best payloads we've ever gotten, I reckon, as far as parts are concerned, from um, TI Performance. was kind enough to help us out to source all the parts and also get in touch with Raceworks, and then Raceworks was also kind enough to help us out and give us a little bit of support in providing some parts as well, too, and helping us out a little. Uh, it all goes a long way, uh, so we have a major haul that we'll show you through and I reckon we should flash back to that now. What do you reckon? I think so. All right, let's hit it. This guy, <laughs> I don't know how many times I said we need to fill in the boxes opening and look, he's already opened them. Well, no, actually no, that's not why I was doing it. I was doing it because my name, my address and everything is on this tag. That's why I was ripping it off. One, two, three, fake street. Oh, anyway. you wouldn't know. <laughs> Hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What are we doing here now? Oh, sorry. Everyone. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So, everyone knows that we've got a Haltech in the Fairlane now, and we're doing E85 and all that fuel goodness and boost control and stuff. So, Jason from TI Performance has been an absolute legend. I cannot thank him enough for all the help, because we're, we don't know AN lines and all that stuff yet. You know, we, it's a pretty simple, but we haven't learned it yet. It's or, new to or us. The, it's new to us. And he basically mapped the whole fuel system out for the car. Uh, he did everything. I just said what I wanted and he did it all for me. On, and it was all done on his website. Uh, everything available there. And I couldn't thank him enough. Um, the customer service is great. I got this in, what, two days? Yeah. Got yep. it straight away. And it's all the good gear too. And it's, it's I, honestly, let's... Just open it up. <laughs> <laughs> so we also need to say a big thank you to a, Raceworks. A huge thank you to Raceworks as well. They came um, on board. They come on board and, and helped us out a heap. Yeah, honestly, I was waiting by the door. I got this delivered to me at work and I was working and the box is sitting there and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> But let's go through it, should we? Yeah, let's Shall go. We? What have we got? So we've got some shirts, uh, flag, we've got some TI Performance jumpers. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Jason and uh, his wife. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> So we got the vice jaws. For the AN lines and all for that. For the AN lines and stuff. We have um, the billet fuel rail. <laughs> oh, are you opening that now? Yeah. You've already opened it. I know you have. You would have opened it at work. I opened it at work, not gonna lie. Woohoo! That's beautiful. That is a lovely bit of kit. It's nice, isn't it? That looks great. So this is the billet fuel rail to suit an EF and to suit three quarter length injectors. They're the extensions, it comes with the mounting plates, it comes with all the fittings and O-rings, comes with everything. What's in the box? Uh, adjustable fuel pressure rig. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Christmas. Oh. I just love billet parts. <laughs> look at that. So we've got a gauge as well. God, just look how good everything looks. Oh man, that looks nice. Look at it. They make a good bit of kit, don't they? They really do, don't they? Oh, we got a thread identification kit. Um, Jason said it would be really great to have, um, so we got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. How nice is that, huh? This is unreal, what? What a case. I know. Look at that, inside, outside. Does this go on the special tool cabinet? It goes into the special tool cabinet. <laughs> yes. too. Uh, <gasps> stickers. What else we got? Stickers, stickers. So we got a um, a Walbro. I'm pretty sure this is a four five four five five something like that. E85. It is E85 safe too. I just read that. What's this? What's that? That's hose. Uh, oh no, that's not hose. hose. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's all our injectors. I'm just excited by the fact that there's a box with so many raceworks. So on we it. got oh we got our fittings and our injectors. 
we're using the original steel lines down the bottom of the car. So we Raceworks sell a push-on fitting that go to our AN line, which we're only doing a dash six line. I know that everyone does a dash eight, but dash eight is big. <laughs> and if we're still using the original steel line under the car and going to a dash eight, the, the, the steel line is gonna be slacking anyways. So yeah. dash six will be plenty for what the car is gonna make. Yep. We've got a, um, a boost solenoid from a XR6, I'm pretty sure it is, XR6 turbo, because the Haltech will now be controlling boost. So we've got one of them. Yep. Um, some E85 hose. And that, kind of just like what I do with my pen. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> this is a good box. What is it? Yes. Well, lollies. <laughs> Best thing about TI Performance, lollies. <laughs> yes. Because when you're unpacking all your stuff, you want to install it. So you just spend all night, get a sugar high, and just keep going. <laughs> I really went all out, didn't I? So I bought the whole span and set. <laughs> we got all our fittings, more fittings, um, heaps of fittings, and of course, bottle opener for the beer at the end of the day. That is everything. We're going to do a beauty shot of all of this before we throw it into that car and never to be seen again because it will all be under the car and under the bonnet how do you feel i feel great my bank don't feel great <laughs> but i feel great <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need not to open the petrol container. I hate doing fuel. <laughs> I really hate doing the fuel. But we're doing it on the ground for all you warriors out there. No, we're not. We're doing it on the ground because the LS is in here. <laughs> and we can't be bothered moving the cars. Yeah, it's up on Jack Sands. It's a pain in the ass to move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Those are unplugged. Um, so you can pull those lines through. <sighs> oh, fuel everywhere. That's normal. The fuel on the... Oh, damn, what a shame, huh? <laughs> oh. No! Oh, this is not gonna work in that. Did you glue it or something? Yeah. Alright, we're not getting that off. Alright, hot water. Trying some hot water. And I got my thermos from camping because I couldn't find another container. <laughs> oh my god, that's hot water. Oh my god, is it? You know how hot this water is. Oh yeah, it's gonna go all over the floor. <laughs> That's alright, who's putting the line in? Oh, I'm gonna lay down there. Woo! Ah, uh, yeah. That was hard work. Oh, shit. Yeah. I know why it's tight. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why? I'm sorry. I know why. You locked tighter, didn't you? No. There's a, there's a hose clamp around the ring. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> There's a small hose clamp around the ring, Michael. Remember to do that. Cut this before we go to do this. <laughs> huh. <laughs> so make sure you take it off before you try and take the cap off. Yep. That should have been a lot easier than it was. Yep. We're going to try and soak up all that water slash petrol. So we'll we come back after the short break. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> so if anybody wants to know where the cable ties will melt away in the fuel tank, no they won't. Although how will they go with E85? It's just water. I think there's a more there's a higher water content near the E85. Oh so yeah. <clears throat> That's why you have to upgrade the lines because uh, the water. I think. Don't quote me on any of this thing though. But that's why it's no good to have a steel tank. They really should be quoting us on anything. Probably wouldn't use that blowtorch, eh? I was actually going to use that blowtorch. <laughs> I'm only kidding, nothing will happen. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> and that was the end of Michael. That, so now we need to run our lines. Push! You should see it. I can see it. 
we've got everything plumbed in now. The only thing that we don't have is we don't have any push clip, uh, we don't have any hose clamps at the minute. We ordered some EFI safe um, hose clamps, which we don't have at the minute, so we're just gonna temporarily mock it up and we'll slip them on later. Hopefully we can slip them on over the hose. Yeah. With any luck, but. Yeah, so we just need one there, two for under there. We're probably gonna need some more up in the engine bay, but at least it's run. Yeah. So now we can look at engine bay side. So now we've got this jigged up. So I've already run the hose to go from there to the reg. So now all we need to do, there's not much to it now. All we need to do is figure out our line to go to here. We have a spirit fingers and it will appear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great spirit fingers there, man. We got push clip AN6. So dash six to a um, EFI quick connect. I've already got one under there because I put it on, can't get it off. So, <laughs> and then all we've got to do is I want to put this back in because I had to buy some um, turned, turned fittings, some 180 degree or I went for a sharper one because it was hitting the firewall. So we'll sit this in and then we will make that line. That's it. And then we just got to go barb to return. return. So we're nearly, we're nearly done, really. And then we're going to show you a website to help you build lines. Yep. Uh, we need because to order we need more to parts. build. I'm going to make a new. Going to make a new feed line for the turbo because the other one, it was good, but going black and we're using, we're using all these fittings. So that will go to our push connect, which Michelle will now feed this down to me. So then we can mark where to cut this end to put that other fitting onto. Uh, so which side does it need to go down? Obviously, back of the rail. Wherever Ooh. will look good. Tight. Wait. That's it. She's done. We've got fuel. Well, we've got I reckon it. we leave it for now. And you know what I reckon? Get it on the hoist and do everything up on the hoist. You reckon? Next weekend, yeah. But has any, they haven't seen the intake. He's very proud of this. It's all painted it. and beautiful. Let's sit it on. Oh, I'm walking back with some God. <laughs> oh God, there's stuff on the floor. It's all good to get out. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Break my head like this. <laughs> Are you serious? It got caught on my shore. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> don't break the other one. Keep, don't damage it, because you might only find one. Don't, don't, don't. Nathan? These are eBay ones for like. Put it, oh. You worried me, man. They're eBay and I put the stickers on. And you can see where it's been rubbing. But still, it's annoying. <laughs> so we're just feeding through the return line for a minute. We're going to hook it up to the bottom. Yep, uh, all good. All good. And now we're just going to roughly guess where this is going to go. Because we don't have the correct fitting, the barb fitting for this. So we're going to have to wait for that to come in too, but... We're pretty much... Fuel is pretty much done. We It's ran. <clears throat> we need to do yeah. a good go over because things don't have correct hose clamps. Things aren't done up because obviously we can't do any of this up because it's got to come off. Um, but now we're going to look at running our turbo feed and we're going to try and figure out what we're going to do here so we'll go on the website and do you have a laptop yeah i do yeah bring it out here um we're going to go on the website and see if we can get a sharp sharp dash 12 fitting or something sharp 90 see what we can get yeah this should hopefully be the last order that we make for this because we're so close to being finished now we know exactly what we need whereas we, we know what we need yeah exactly right we know what we need so. but it's good to have like stuff just sitting there because now you know, if we want to go make something, it can be like, oh, I got some of these fittings and stuff. Yeah. What well, the fact that Nathan stole my chair and I'm going to sit on the Recaro? Is this the Recaro? Recaro, man. Oh, yeah, it is Recaro. All right, so 
we're getting to the stage now where we have pretty much everything dummied up. We've gotten as far as we can with the fittings that we've got, and obviously we need to order some more now. Um, that's just the trial and error that's going with this system. Obviously, it's all custom, so we're trying to figure all this out. We've never worked with AN fittings or anything like that before either, so it's all very new to us. Now, the trouble is that we're having, I mean, you look here, this is just a small selection of the amount of fittings that we have been dealing with today. And we're finding like trying to visualize and actually plan out what fitting goes into what, where it is gonna go, uh, it can be quite tricky. So TI Performance have started to create a, an online builder, it's called the Fluid System Builder. And basically the idea is you can design your fuel system or anything, any sort of hoses or fuel pumps or rails, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of products. You can design it all on the screen in this uh, builder type thing. And what it allows you to do is lay everything out nice and neat, get an idea of what it looks like, make a parts list as you go, and actually visualize what the final product's gonna look like. It's been awesome, hasn't it, Nath? Mm. Like it's really helped us out heaps. Basically what it is, is you've got these grids here, and what you do is you've got a massive range of fittings. So all the fittings you could think of, like racework fittings and more, I believe. And what you do is you can drag stuff across. So right now we're working on the turbo feed line. So this quarter inch fitting here, is going, which it comes up here. It's a Raceworks one quarter inch, 90 degree NPT, female to NPT male elbow. All right, tells you the price. We we'll plug that in, then it's gonna to go to a Raceworks AN male flare to NPT quarter inch male. So that hooks into that. And then from there, what you can do is through all this list here, you go to your 200 series Teflon hose ends because that's what we're using. We hunt down an AN4, because we're using AN4 line. Mm -hmm. Comes up here what it is, Raceworks AN200 series. Grab that, and you just drag it across. Simple as that. Then we need to hook this into the turbo, and what we've elected to use for the turbo, if we go searching, is... So we need an AN4120. Then we grab that, put it in there, just like so. That's in there now. And now we just need the hoses that goes in between, obviously. So. And in here, you've got all your different sizes and different lengths. So you can get a 10 meter length, or you can get a four meter length, a one meter length. I think there was a five meter length as well too. Yeah. Grab that, put it in there. And basically, if you think of this side as the turbo and this side as the engine block, this is all the parts that are gonna go from turbo to engine block. Yep. And you can actually visualize it and you can obviously change things around as you're going. Um, it's, it's pretty good. It's been bloody awesome to work with. But the best bit is, it gives you the parts list here as you're going, it writes you up a part list. And if you want, you can go to your buy now. It takes you through to your shopping cart and you can basically buy it now. Yeah. As simple as that. You can click this little button here and it gives you a frequently asked questions list, you know, the website contact list, email, for, and forums and stuff like that. Or you could just call TI Performance Direct, which we've done many a time. Sorry, Jason, I know we've had you a bunch. All your questions can be answered through Jason and through the team at TI Performance. So. We've been working with TI Performance. They've actually, they jumped on board really early on in the piece, didn't they? With yeah. The shop when we first started building the Fairlane mm. and they've been really great supporters of the show ever since. And what they've done here by creating this website has, it's awesome for us newbies that don't know how this AN stuff works. So it's grouse. So we've got that sorted out now. We've got a few other fittings that we need to buy that we're missing. Uh, we also need to do an order for the LSQ as well too. So we'll make all that up here. And uh, we'll go from there, basically. Yep. Buy it now, and we'll see it in a couple of days, hopefully. This is our combination to get the Fairlane done today. We've got our leads, our intake manifold, we've got our catch can lines, and we've got our turbo line. Everything else is done. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed, I was out here late last night and finished up a lot of the, the small things. Like, I put hose clamps, we got, we got proper EFI hose clamps. Uh, and I went and un laid under the car and did all the lines. Yep. The rocket cover is done. I painted that last night because the welding burnt it. So the fittings are now welded on. So we've got dash 12 um, fittings off the rocket cover to go to the catch can. So I painted that last night, put that on this morning. <sighs> We're yeah. ready to go. You had a busy night. So now it's as simple as bolt the intake manifold on, do it up properly, With the run, the, stick tool. run the, uh, the wiring loom down it, because the wiring loom goes tucks down into there. And then we'll look at doing the injectors. Sound Sounds good? good. Cool. Let's do it. I reckon we should. Woo-hoo-hoo!
<laughs> hey Michael, don't remember to put WD-40. <laughs> don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I screwed it up. I screwed it up. Did you just put WD-40 all down the fuel line? <laughs> just a little bit. That'll be that little bit of extra <laughs> boom when it starts. <laughs> <laughs> we try not to put it everywhere. <laughs> So that's it. Um, she's all back together again. We need to fire it, obviously. We need to put E85 in the tank, uh, put a base map on it, start it, and get it to the dyno. But um, yeah, we're not going to start it. We're waiting for the tuner to come. We're not starting it because we've got no idea about a base map. Um, even though people say that you just put four liter into the program and what size injector and that, and it'll basically start and run. But uh, I don't want to do that. If I'm paying someone to tune it, I'll let them do it. For now, she's all back together again. We have a small water leak that we need to look at, but um, everything is done and ready to finally, to finally put some numbers down for you guys. Yeah, finally get her on the dyno. <laughs> I'm sick of being asked how much it made. <laughs> yeah. So it's finally gonna put some numbers down once we can get, once we can. Massive thank you to TI Performance and Jason for all the raceworks parts and basically everything they've built. The engine of this car um, couldn't have uh, couldn't have done it without them. Yeah, they they really hooked us up and helped us out with a bunch of stuff and knowledge. Yeah, and knowledge too. You can't thank them enough. Yeah, and the same to RaceWorks too. Thank you to RaceWorks for jumping on board and helping us out with this build too, because yeah. that has obviously been a massive help as well too. Yep. Are you happy with it? The way it turned out, the way it looks now, like with the new the billet rail and the regulator and. You yeah. painted a lot of things. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm a lot happier with how it looks. Look, I, I still want to get rid of that ugly intake manifold. But <laughs> if it makes hey, if it makes a good power number and I'm happy with it, it, it'll stay. Hopefully in the next episode of this, we'll see it getting started. Yeah the, next, the, yeah, the next episode of this will be a short one of the car getting started. Unfortunately, we don't know if we're going to be able to go and film it being tuned. Due to um, restrictions and whatnot at the minute. Due to restrictions and, well, the guy, he's taking it for two days. Um, it's not like a day thing, a couple of hours, it's two days. So, uh, we'll, we'll make sure we can try and get something. Um, yeah. But other than that, we'll see you in the next one. So, I'm sure by now you've all figured out how much I love my stickers, but how much do I love banners? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, the racework shirts are sick. Turn around. Oh, that's wicked. Yeah. If you've never done this with new car parts and you're not a real car guy. Oh, why is that box different? <laughs> <laughs> we'll hide that box. <laughs> She's shamed. Don't be a dick. <laughs> if we don't get the car done in two weeks, we're not going to make it. <laughs> we're not going to make it to SEMA. <laughs> God damn it, Kyle! <laughs> <laughs> Spanners. What about the spanners? I bet you it doesn't fit either, does it? It's dash six, mate. Not. Did you just pick up a random one? What? <laughs> tried to guess. <laughs> I tried to guess. I He's like... guessing, and the whole time we're building this car, I'm saying it's dash six. The whole time. I didn't know that they said the dashes on them. This is the first time I picked one up. Hey, mate. You've got to expose the petrol tank right now. It's been a little while since you've been on an episode, I reckon. How are you? Just chilling out. Chilling. Do you want me to do it? Mate, because you always come in when I'm almost there and then you go, wasn't well, that hard? <laughs> Sometimes you just need a fresh pair of eyes on it, that's all. I, I know you do, I know you do, I know. You won't let me do it though. Nope. He's a bit precious at the minute, we'll just, we'll let him go. He's had a hard day. He's done bugger all, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs>